Hello Pisces, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 28th through September 4th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Memory cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and sending personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me when we can set something up. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs, and let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on for the Pisces? Pisces. Pisces love reading for the week of August 28th through September 4th, 2017. August 28th through September 4th, 2017. Love reading. All right, so uh, there is some attraction going on here. Um, but let's see what kind of attraction going on here. So, mm. okay, so I feel like maybe somebody is telling you about somebody that likes you right now. Oh, but you don't want them. Okay, so yeah, so it seems like maybe your friend or somebody that's what I just heard, friend. So Maybe uh, your friend is telling you they like you or your friend is trying to hook you up with somebody, but you just don't care for that person like that. Or when they come around you, they um, they don't treat you like they care. They're trying to like stiff arm you. Yeah, they're trying to stiff arm you, but they might be saying they like you. I don't know. I'm already getting the feeling they just want sex, but let's see. Okay, so... Ooh. Yeah, so I feel like this may be a friend of yours. And I feel like they keep trying to tell you to let go of somebody that you care about. Because they don't love you. Yeah, I feel like they're trying to let tell you to let go of somebody because they're sexually attracted to you, but they don't want you. Okay. Okay, so whatever the situation you in, you you've been in this situation for a long time. Yep. So back again. Somebody is sexually attracted to you. Somebody's been telling you to um that they're attracted to you, but they're not treating you like they want you. And somebody's telling you to let go or you might have let go of this person. But this situation been going on for a long time. Oh. Okay, so you work with this person. So, ah. Uh, that's crazy. So it seems like you might be, um. Dealing with maybe a boss or somebody that makes more than you. Or maybe you're somebody boss and... You're trying to let go of somebody. Because you're only attracted to them sexually. I feel like you might be not be uh, mentally stimulated by this person. But I still feel like it's people telling you to let this person go. Or this person might be letting you go because you don't give them the attention that they need. Okay. All right, um, yeah, it's basically saying uh, some honesty going to come out here. So um, I feel like you might end up telling this person that you only want them sexually, or you might have told them this already. Okay. All right, bottom of the deck, freedom. So it seems like it's about to be some kind of separation because... I don't know, somebody's just being honest with somebody. Maybe you're being honest with somebody and telling them you just want them sexually and that's it. Okay. All right, what's going on? If somebody told this to you. What's going on with oh, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces? What's going on with the Pisces for the week of Pisces love reading? The week of August, August, August 28th through September 4th, 2017. 
Mm -mm. Secrets come out. So somebody's been manipulating. Mm. All right, like I said at the beginning, I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. So, um, seems like somebody is not going on a trip that they said they was because of they they was heartbroken. So, I mean, if I put this in the context of the whole reading, it seems like um, somebody just don't want to open their heart and travel to a new level when it comes to love because their heart been broken in the past. That's what is the oh man, I just felt like uh, I felt this. I just felt this. So, so well, somebody got hurt pretty bad. Yeah, they don't want to make no new beginnings. They don't want to start nothing new. Come on now, Pisces. All right. So, yeah, they feel like somebody going to just hurt their feelings and run away with it. And then I feel like some of this stuff hasn't happened yet also. But let's get to the reading. So, we have the Knight of Staffs first. Knight of Staffs is reversed. Severing of Connection. Emotional and physical separation. Okay, that makes sense. After the heartbreak. So we got the heartbreak here. Um, it says, a broken heart, whether in a relationship or life. An ending of an affair, a bitter heartbreak. Um, take care of emotional problems. And I feel like it's telling you to take care of emotional problems because it's going to stop you from starting any new projects. But let's read it. Staffs, Ace of Staffs. And it's reverse. So, loss of wealth and position as a uh, result of excessive vanity. So, it's basically um, people. Okay, I gotta read the Six of Cups too. It seems like people are um, just like trying to work on themselves to the point where they're not realizing that somebody is in front of them trying to love them. That's why they're not giving them this love back here because it's like, you know, you've been hurt in the past. So you just like, I got to work on me. I got to work on me. I got to work on me. And, you know, this you're making this person feel unwanted, even though you got some kind of sexual attraction. Um, it says maybe you just knew this person for a long time, but the relationship is new. But you're making this person feel like they need to leave. You know, you're making them feel unwanted. So. So they might dip out on you because you're not giving them the attention that they need because of what you've been doing or happened to you in the past. Mm. All right, so <sighs> six of cups. Uh, it may be time to move on and start new plans. Do not let your pride stop you from making a change. So in this, I feel like it's talking about this heartbreak that you're carrying around. It's like, let that go. And it's time to make a change, you know, do something different, you know, if you want to uh, be in this relationship. Now, if this person is uh, an animal or just like a horrible person to you, then I can understand this. But it seemed like, you know, I don't see any love or hate cards here. You know, it's just some att attraction, which is the start of a relationship in my eyes. And it's being halted because of a bad breakup, somebody doing you wrong in the past. But that's all I have. Um, make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. And we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week, Pisces.